medical simulation is simply the art of learning or practicing medicine in a safe, non-threatening environment where patient outcomes and their health and safety are not at risk. We, we are really blessed to have uh, an asset like Mayo Clinic in our community. And I think today is just another huge step forward and with this new simulation center and really training our physicians uh, in the latest robotic technology that's going to advance uh, medical care, clinician care. It's, 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 uh, it really is uh, overwhelming when you go through and see uh, the things that are going to happen in, the, in this uh, facility here, in this center. We have a moral obligation to our patients to do this. They expect it. The reason we haven't done it to date, and I mean we in medicine in general, is because there is no entity to pay for this. The only way these type of things are going to be possible are through philanthropic uh, contributions such as the Weavers. Um, I envision this simulation center being one of the best in the industry, and I do think we'll trans continue to transform healthcare here at Mayo Clinic in Florida, and we thank the Weavers for their contribution. When Dr. Rupp shared all about Mayo Clinic's uh, vision for the future, to being a much larger and state-of-the-art simulation center that would not only serve the clinic, Mayo Clinic, but serve the community and have the community to be a part of it in innovative ways that it really got to us because community is what we're all about as well. We were inspired and definitely wanted to be a part of it. We feel, however, that the, the value of our partnership here with Mayo Clinic and the Simulation Center is a distant second, a distant second to the work that will be accomplished here and the doctors that will be trained here and the patients that will benefit from that.